all right hi everyone and welcome to the video in my last video on my youtube i was talking about username and password validation in python with just two line of code so what this code did basically that we we were verifying the username the whether it has the lower case and upper case has a numeric character and the length is greater than six. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about hash, uh, hashing the password. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is basically whenever a user inputs a password, right? And you have to save that password on a database or anything, right? So what you usually do is you, you usually store it raw. That's not a good idea because if a hacker, if a hacker can get into your database, uh, he will have access to all of that. So we wanna prevent that. So let's get started with the hashing. So for this, I'm gonna use from flask bcrypt, import bcrypt. You can need to, you just need to say pip install flask underscore bcrypt. Uh, let us just get started with a nice simple example. So let's assume I have a username and I have a password, right? No, so in my last video, I already talked how we discussed about that. So you can just watch this video. The code is also there on the GitHub account. All right, so we discussed that. Now, if I want to validate this, how am I supposed to do? Uh, it's pretty simple. I just create an object of that class and pass in my username. And based on that, it will return me a true or false if I can say data. So, so if it is true, that means the user is validated, of course. Um, so I can say print valid because as essentially we were returning boolean values right else remember else we can just say pass because that means it will just return a false right so if i try to run this real quick so you did not enter user digit so here you can see um this one does not have a digit so let's try to enter a digit so now it will be, uh, you didn't enter digits. So, oops, sorry, this is one.py, my bad. I was running the other file. So, yep, yeah, now you can see it's valid. Now if I try to remove these, I'm gonna show you now the hashing part, which is interesting. Username should have at least six characters. So, of course, just make it six characters, run it, and sure enough, it should print the valid. Now let's try to do the hashing part, which I was uh, talking about. So uh what i'm gonna do is basically uh, zoom uh, out a little bit and zoom in a little bit so create some space here br so b i'm gonna create bcrypt bcrypt equals to bcrypt i'm gonna create an object right so then i'm gonna say uh simply uh so basically our username, first the first step is we will validate the username, right? After that, if the username is valid, that means if the password is valid, uh, this will return true, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna calculate the hash value. So hash equals to, uh, so I can say bcrypt dot generate password and then I can uh, simply pass that username or password that I wanna store on the database. In this case, it's gonna be a username. So print that just to show you. Now, if I run this, let's see what do we get. So basically I'm passing the username and it's gonna check if the username is valid. If the username is valid, then only it's gonna compute the hash value. So here you can see this is not, the humans cannot read this because that's what you want. Because if a hacker try to um, get into a database, he, we, he, he or she does not, uh, should have access to the database. So we have a hash. Now let me show you how to decrypt the hash or how to get, uh, how to do a uh, like a reverse one. So, so this case so what we can do is basically, so for this example, I can say, uh, let me just pull up my notes real quick. So I can say uh, dot check. Uh, so the command would be, just give me one sec. Yep. So we kind of say check. bcrypt dot check password hash and then 
uh so if this is valid you're going to update this on a database right and well when you want to fetch it from the database you have you would have of course the hash value and assuming the what was my password what was my username was youtube uh, y o t u 1221 right so if i supply this as an argument i mean the second argument which is my password this should return true right that means we successfully authenticated the user so print it so you see true now if i change something now it should print false because the hash and the password does not match here you can see false that means uh, the password does not match that means the user is uh, not a valid user so with this method uh, you can also compute the hash and you can store the hash on a database of course so whenever you are doing uh, making a login page or a username admin uh, page so you can validate the user with this script that I've, we discussed in the last class and after that we, we when you want to when you accept the, accept the password you can compute the hash using the b script right uh, so you compute the hash and whenever anyone enters the password you just if you want to check whether that password is equal uh equal so what you do is basically enter that password and you can fetch the hash value from the database and if they are same it will return true otherwise false that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um, so in this uh, video we use flask underscore bcrypt so if you have any questions or anything let me know by doing that in the comment section below and i shall get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching